What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Go Mouth, coming at y'all to show you guys how I'm going to do my relaxer. So, I'm going to just go ahead and get in. Okay, so, as you guys can see, I have already greased my hairline and all in my scalp and all of that kind of, you know, everything with this Petro, okay, Petroleum Jelly. And, uh, look how much I use, almost half of it. But I did this, I marinated it. I let it marinate overnight because I did it last night. And, um... I just take it and loose it. I, I put it in braids and then I took it loose. So this is how it look out of braids. And as you guys can see, this is what my new, you can see my new growth here. It's kind of like right there. So I'm going to attempt to try to do my relaxer on camera, which is something that I don't ever hardly try to do because I want to, you know, I want to make sure I can get all, all the parts right and that, you know. Trying to do it for y'all and doing it myself, looking straight in the mirror is two different things. So, I'm going to try to do this video for y'all. So, y'all thumbs up me right now. Um, for all the relaxed people now, y'all. Uh, so, I already got my edges and stuff ready to go. I'm ready to go. So, I'm just going to do like some last minute touch-ups around me and all of that good stuff, y'all. And, y'all already know how I relax to go. God, please, God, please don't let no haters come on this video because I ain't got that type of time, okay? Um, anyhow, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I already went through and greased my scalp, uh, last night, so I'm just gonna go touch up a little bit, just a little bit, just to get me a little bit more in there, and plus I grease my hair too. Now, the reason why I grease my hair is because that way it prevents, uh, relaxer runoff, you feel me? So, um, my relaxed ends, uh, my previously relaxed ends won't, like, get relaxed again that prevents them from getting really relaxed so the reason why i put vaseline on my hair i used to do coconut oil and did other oils um it's not thick enough so the 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 best thing to do for a relaxer runoff for me is to go ahead and use vaseline that way i know it's got a good thick coat of protection on it so when i do wash my hair in the sink um i don't have to worry about uh relaxer runoff uh, giving my ends a little bit more straight, you know. So I'm just going to put some more. I'm just doing another coat of grease on here. And then when I get done with this coat of grease, y'all, I'll be back. I'm going to do the same thing to each little section again. Put a little bit more in my scalp. And then I'll be right back. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, y'all, I am back, and I just took my hair down. I'm done greasing all the insides, so I just want to show you guys what I'm doing to these ends here. I am putting another coat of Vaseline on them, uh, hair grease, petroleum jelly, whatever you want to call it, girl, on the ends, because the reason why I'm doing that is because my ends is what sit in the sink, because I wash my hair out in the, in the sink, and my head be down, so my ends sit in the sink uh, while my relaxer getting rinse that so um to prevent them from over processing with the relaxer that's in the bottom of the sink i want to give them another application of uh grease because i ain't think i did enough so i'm just doing another coating on the ends i already coated the hair as good as i could and uh we gonna start this here relaxer that helped keep my ends protected Oh, please don't let any of you wake up. <laughs> okay. And y'all, I couldn't find my relaxer. Um, dang, did I just do that one? I just did that one. Okay, do this one back here. Don't worry, all this grease is going to wash right on that. I might have to wash my hair a couple of times, but the neutralizer shampoo is good at breaking up any of that buildup. Um, y'all might not want to do this because y'all know I do my hair different. Don't do what I do because I don't want to hear y'all be talking about it. I tried that and I couldn't get the grease out of my hair. Listen, I'm going to use my neutralizer shampoo that came in with my relaxer and I'm also going to use olive oil. Uh, or it's creamy aloe shampoo. This is also a neutralizing shampoo and it's good at breaking any of that um, grease. Okay, so I got my hair 
all done. I was going to put this towel around my neck, y'all, but uh-uh. It's, it's just too much in my way, so we just not going to give a care. <laughs> we just not going to care about what we get on our shirt and stuff, so. Or what I get on my shirt, so. Anyways, y'all, I'm putting my gloves on. I done had this box of gloves for so, 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 so many years. Like, I've been in here five years. I done had this box of gloves about eight years now. So, uh, this is what my relaxer, I mean, this is what my new growth look like right here, y'all. All of that is new growth. So, that's about maybe probably right here. So, that might be two or three inches. I ain't sure. But, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and start my relaxer. I use, oh, first of all, I use Optimum Relaxer, Optimum, the five breakage, and I use the regular strength. Now, back in the days when I used to get relaxers, I would put uh, Super in my hair, child. Super, whatever. I ain't know no better. I just would put Super and leave it on for forever and a day, and my hair used to be uh, real good in the street, y'all. Yeah. I already mixed it up, and it's been sitting for about... It's been sitting for about 15 minutes. I always like to let my relaxer sit and I stir it up again before, right before I use it so I know it's good and mixed, you know. And uh, so that's about it for that. And I always use my relaxer that's left on here, y'all. So I'm going to try to do this relaxer thing on camera for y'all because y'all know I don't be coming on camera. I'm talking about I'm going to put a relaxer in. That ain't, I don't usually do that. So just showing y'all. I apply my relaxer at home. If I can get it. Oh, Lord. I don't time it or nothing. I don't time it because I just go by the feel. And I know if it's been too long, child. I, I know if it's been too long. So. I try to keep one hand out of the relaxer. Like, really, I try to keep one hand out. So that way I have a clean glove. And yes, I do put it in with my hand because that way I can feel where to stop it with my hands instead of just with the comb. Because when you're doing relaxing yourself, it's kind of hard to see and all of that good stuff. So in order for me to get it right, I have to feel it. Come on now. I, did, I, did. I should have detangled that a little better than that. I don't know how successful I'm going to be with this video, y'all, but I'm trying, y'all. I don't really do no footage like this because I don't be want to mess up my hair and all of this, trying to stay in camera and trying to um show y'all at the same time, look in the mirror and be on camera all at the same time. That's kind of difficult. I'm not one of these professional YouTubers who can do it, who can get their relaxer and they wash and all of that stuff all up in one video. Child, I ain't, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. So, that is it for this first section almost. I start from the front, y'all, because that is the courses. My, my front of my head is nappier than my back, okay, y'all? And what I should have did, y'all, what I didn't do is um go around the perimeter. Not the not the front of the hair, but I mean like the uh, the middle and the back of it. So that way, I don't know, child. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I always say that when I get confused, don't listen to me. Yeah, but so I... Um, it's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time, y'all. I didn't know how difficult this was. I'm trying to keep the relax off of my edges, but, you know, on camera, it's so hard to do. <laughs> Anyhow, 
Okay, y'all. So, maybe I'll just show y'all one section and y'all get the gist of what I'm doing. How about that? Because this video will be a whole hour long, child. Well, I hope not because I don't relax my hair that long. But so, see, I try to keep a clean hand so I can grab my hair like this or however. And, um... I can have a, a hand to grab my hair with, so I won't put it on the previously relaxed ends, okay? Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Okay, there we go, right there. Um, I want to make sure I come down far enough, though, because I feel like that need a little bit more coming down, okay? Look like I need to come down a little bit more in some areas, okay? And I just leave that loose, okay? We're going to let that, let that long, let it long. Okay, let that side long, go to the other side. Okay, y'all, so I am on the second side, second section. I am actually on the left side of my hair. And what, see, see what I'm doing now? On the, When I said perimeter the first time, that's what I mean. Going around the outside of that section, all both sides except for the front edges. You leave those front edges for last always. Um, I kind of came real, real close, but for the most part, I leave my front edges for last and also the back edges so all the way around the hairline just try to leave that for last <clears throat> and it's taking me a lot because i got a lot of new growth so it's my sections are difficult to part through at the same time when i'm trying to do this and yes i do my relaxers with my hands because that's the best way for me to get through um and hurry up and get the relaxer on i don't be in no rush but I, you know, I don't be going so, so fast that I, you know, that I lose track of what I'm doing. I just go at a steady pace and I just, you know, I just go with the flow. So I try to rub at the bottom section. When I part, I rub that bottom hair that's left down. And then I rub the hair that's up also. See, as you see, I rub that right there that's down. And then I go up and I put relaxer on the underneath side. So I'm making sure I get both sections. Now, if I was to part my hair like really, really thin, I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't go above and below. I would just go ab above and I wouldn't go underneath. But since I'm parting my hair in big sections, I go above and below. And it's easier that way. So you don't have to worry about going through all that parting because all that extra parting, just extra, you know, more time. And you want to be, uh, careful about how you want to be mindful about how much time you're taking you know with the relaxer so i'm done with that side just that quick so here i go turning around going to the, the back side i go the way i do my relaxers is i go i start from the the, the part that's the the nappiest y'all you, you know what nappy mean don't act like you don't know but uh nappy the nappy part of my hair is the in the front part and then in the back it starts at the top like right there where i'm at right now that's like a real tough section for me as you guys can see it's hard for me to get the comb through the comb uh parted open but i'm going and like i said the first time above and beneath each part the top and the bottom of each little section that i part off and that's how i do my hair the entire way through um i just keep applying my relaxer now um as you can see, uh, I'm smoothing it out and, um, as I go. So then when I come back around, I don't go back through these sections. Uh, this is my f my first and final time on these sections when I'm going through my sections like this. I know like in the old days and, and you know, back in the back days, uh, you used to go through this hair. And then by the time you get... Um, you get done putting all the relaxer in there was another step that you go back through it and smooth it out with the um rat tail comb and i don't do that section i don't do that part of the process um so i skip that whole entire uh step in the in the relaxer process as long as i get it on i smooth the outside of each you know four sections and then that's it i don't go back through my individual sections and smooth anything out so I'm on the last section now, and I'm like, whoo, thank God, child. So um, I'm going back from the top of these sections. As you can see, when I did my relaxer in the front, I started from the bottom and went up. And now in the back, I'm starting from the top, and I'm going down. That's just my preference because I judge by how 
uh, the thickness of my hair is and the most resistant because once you get to know your hair, you know which sections are more resistant than the other. And my front is more resistant than the back. Um, in other words, my front of my hair is more nappy than the back of my hair, okay? Uh, I'm just keep it 100 with you, okay? So, um, anyways, I'm going through these sections right here and uh, going to smooth this part out up and down just like i did the rest of the hair and i'm gonna work all the way through until i get to the bottom and then oh see see how i did that that piece right there they got a relaxer on it that piece not gonna bother me because i put so much vaseline on my my previously relaxed hair that it ain't gonna even you know it ain't gonna even phase that little bit of uh relaxer that you see or if i went down my hair shaft a little bit too far that petroleum jelly is thick enough um to uh not allow that relaxer to take on that section um just like i did not put petroleum jelly on any of my new growth i didn't put no grease on no new growth whatsoever i put my new growth only on my scalp and on my skin around my hair and then i put the new growth on my hair shaft not including um did i did i say did i say new growth child i put the vaseline on the um the previously relaxed hair, I did not put it on a new growth or whatever I just said. But I ain't deleting this. Um, this is what you're going to get, okay? <laughs> and so now I'm, I'm at the final um, part of my relaxer process. I am doing the front of my hair. And as y'all can tell, uh, I have not taken off my glasses not one time. Because I got to see y'all and see the camera all at the same time, child. It's, it gets a little hard because I'm blind, okay? So um, I will save my uh the last part of my edges until the end as you can see now there we go taking off the glasses honey now i can't see nothing uh whoops i accidentally touched my hair but it's all good because i coated it with that vaseline that vaseline kind of strong route so i'm going underneath like where my glasses would lay and make sure i get that section of my hair and smooth that out as well right along with the rest of my edges on both sides and make sure I get it in there good. And that is about it, y'all. I am almost done. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Um, y'all leave something nice now. Don't don't come for me. Because I, I know these the how, how these relaxed hair videos can be, okay? <laughs> so I put this out there for all my followers who got relaxed hair. And for anybody who relaxes their hair. Anybody who just... Um, uh, do like you know watch my videos anyways okay you guys that is all for my uh relax hair how to or whatever you want to call it and i want to thank you guys so so much for watching that's all i got to say in this video and i will holler at y'all later bye